The CEO behind popular weight loss and diabetes drug Ozempic in the hot seat on Capitol Hill today. Senators pressed the drug manufacturer company Novo Nordisk over its high costs. ABC 22's Raquel Martin joins us live right now from Washington, D.C. So, Raquel, what did we learn? Hey, Lauren, well, it should come by no surprise that Senator Bernie Sanders, the man who championed Medicare for all, is the one who called today's hearing. He's accusing the drug maker of jacking up the price of Ozempic, making it unaffordable to Americans struggling with both obesity and diabetes. Stop ripping us off. It was a tough introduction for Ozempic's CEO on Capitol Hill. Vermont Senator Bernie Sanders slammed drug maker Novo Nordisk for what he describes as outrageously high prescription drug costs. It's not just an issue of corporate greed. It is a profound moral issue. According to an investigation Sanders led, Americans pay around $1,000 a month for the popular diabetes and weight loss medications, Ozempic and Wegovi. Over 15 times more than they sell in Germany. Sanders asked the CEO four times to explain Sanders. why Americans are charged Once more. Again, you are not answering my question. Ultimately, he blamed the high cost on the middlemen, insurance companies and PBMs who negotiate prices. It's a very complex uh, market and very complex healthcare system that creates uh, a lot of misunderstanding. Republicans who agree the problem lies elsewhere quickly came to the CEO's defense. Novo Nordisk is not the villain in the story. They say cost mandates would only undermine company profits and in turn prevent more life-saving drugs from coming to market. Sometimes we live in a fantasy land, which is we want you to invest, then we want you to keep the prices low. That's not reality. Now, the company CEO did tell lawmakers that they are taking steps to try and reduce costs. He also says that Americans who are insured are paying on average roughly $25 a month. Senator Sanders did not seem satisfied with today's testimony. He is promising not to let up this fight. For now in Washington, Raquel Martin. Back to you, Lauren. Yeah, this is something we've seen uh, from Senator Bernie Sanders for the past uh, several weeks now. Raquel, is Congress proposing a solution to bring down prescription drug costs? Well, there are certainly several bills out there, some of them bipartisan, some of them ta uh, targeting PBMs, others targeting uh, drug makers, but none of them on the verge of passing in Congress. If you talk to Democrats, they will point to that they have tackled this issue in some way. We know the Inflation Reduction Act passed just two years ago now allows Medicare for the first time to negotiate drug prices there. Appreciate your time. Thank you.